Hello friends, I hope you all are doing very well. So today, I am wandering in Beijing and uh, this place is named as Tianmen Square. And, uh, this is the most famous place right now in the Beijing. Uh, and uh, obviously, it's a tourist attraction. And uh, let's visit with you together. the name is Forbidden City and uh, what is this forbidden for? I seriously don't know uh, but it looks interesting uh, everyone is busy and uh, there is some kind of uh, museum inside maybe uh, I'm not sure exactly because you have to buy the ticket one day before and uh, I had no idea so that's why I can't go inside because I don't have the ticket was, uh, I have the opportunity to see this from outside. It looks interesting. Oh, there, there we find something. Uh, this is the Palace Museum ticket check. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this, this, this is some kind of museum. I think it's related to something uh, historical. Uh, the Qing and Ming Dynasty. Uh, I want to ask a lot of questions, but I cannot. Uh, the reason is my Chinese is not that good. And, uh, Chinese people, yeah. they don't know how to speak English and uh, that's the reason I cannot communicate with them. Also today, all of my friends, they were so busy, so I couldn't sit inside the room. That's why I came out and uh, I'm with you. Oh yes, finally, I got what is it. This is the Palace Museum, established in 1935. Oh, this is a complete history if you can read. Everything looks like related to girls only. Okay, okay. Hmm, that's something interesting. But all regarding history. Oh, I want to have this one. These are the most interesting thing. I think I wanted to have. Even before coming to China.
biggest problem I'm facing right now in China. Um, they will they will avoid you if you don't know Chinese. If you will speak English against them, if you ask anything in uh, in Angrezi in English, so they will just just run away like you're you're saying something bad. So I got a shop where you can. Uh, I think these are some traditional dresses in China. Uh, some historical Chinese culture. I don't know what is this written, but I can show you. So these are the rabbits and uh, the reason is you will find, find the rabbits all around because the reason is uh, in Chinese culture they do have their own uh, New Year uh, celebrations and uh, kind of traditions so that's why is known as the year of the rabbit and uh, that's why they have put the rabbits all around these are some chinese traditional lanterns uh, which are to be put on the eve of chinese new year and uh, these are some kinds of uh, uh, the symbols of the blessings and here is the traditional dragon i was talking about They have made this. This is beautiful. I would ask if I could buy this. Okay, the is oh, this is this man. Uh, I don't know this one. Uh, Where are they? But I know this one. This is the Mao Zedong. The founder of China. The founder of New China. So they just told me the price. They are wearing the red dress. Red color is so much famous in China. Uh, you will you will find out the, the the map. The color of the map is also red. Everything is red. Red color is so much promoted. The reason because uh, they think that the red color is something regarding blessings. And this is uh, this is this is this is they they just like it. I don't know.
this but I try to cover a little bit and uh, if you like the video please uh, click the subscribe button and uh, you know very well hope to see you all in the next video till then take care of yourself bye bye